Hello! Greetings, distance teachers. Today I decided I was going to do a couple of tutorials to help everybody out who may be struggling with this whole distance learning thing, like I think all of us are. So today, this little tutorial might be beneficial for math and science teachers who need to kind of walk students through equations. That's pretty difficult trying to do it on a step-by-step -step PowerPoint or trying to attempt to videotype yourself while you're writing on something. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use the draw function on a Microsoft Word document. So that's basically where we're going to start. So I have a Microsoft Word document. I'm just going to click on that. There is a function on here called the draw function. So you can click on the draw function. From here, you can choose your own pen. I have set sparkly glittery pens for myself because I need a little bit of sparkle and happiness in my life while I'm doing this crazy distance teaching thing. So you can click on one of those pens. Now, if you're fancy schmancy, you might have one of these really cool little stylus pens like I do. If not, you can use one of these, which I will demo now. So if you're trying to go through some type of mathematical equation, so for example, I'm going through Hardy-Weinberg equations with my freshmen, I could use my little finger and draw on the screen. So I could go like this. P plus Q equals 1. And I might ask my students, okay, what's the second equation for the Hardy-Weinberg principle? And they might say, oh, Miss Tar, it's P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1. So as you can see, it's a little bit rougher when you're using your finger. If I use my stylus, I can write those equations a little bit easier. So I can write it smaller, P plus Q equals 1. Or I could do my P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1. From there, you can move your screen down, and if you start drawing, you can even open up that second page. Now, what I plan on using this for is kind of this crazy amalgamation of tabs that I'm going to have open. I'm going to be using this function while I have a video chat going on with my students through the Google Meet. That way we can hear the audio portion from the Google Meet. So I'm going to be talking about this going through each of these steps with them as I write them down. So that's going to serve two purposes. One, I'm going to be able to actually physically manipulate different types of variables and numbers easier than if I was trying to type or do it on some type of board behind myself. And two, it's giving students who might not be present for that virtual lesson an, an ability to re-watch that. And that's why I'm using the Screencast-O-Matic app to record this. That way you have a recording of your video going through each of those demos and the students who are in your class and able to attend that specific session are going to be able to see you and go through it step by step. It will also allow you to, if you want at each step, you could click back on the Google Meetup or if you're using Zoom, you could click back on the Zoom app and see if the students have any questions. Now, one of my suggestions is that you do ask that students mute themselves while you kind of go through each of those different steps. That way, if there are a ton of questions, the students who might be listening to the recording later, or obviously all of the students listening to you at that time, are not going to be disrupting the lesson itself, and people will be able to hear your melodious voice over theirs. So, anyways, I hope that was helpful, and I guess I will see you guys all 